Hey everyone! Today we're diving into a time machine, mapping out the laughter lines of comedy history. Ready for a chuckle or two? Let's hit the rewind button and check out the top 10 comedians from the golden 50s and 60s. Starting at number 10, the fabulous Joan Rivers. With a sharp tongue and even sharper wit, Joan took no prisoners. She once said, I hate housework. You make the beds, you do the dishes. And six months later, you have to start all over again. Talk about relatable. At number nine, we've got the king of raucous laughter, Red Fox. His humor pushed all the boundaries, giving us gems like, health nuts are going to feel stupid someday. Lying in hospitals, dying of nothing. Makes you think, doesn't it? Rolling in at number eight, the hilarious Don Knotts. Known as Barney Fife on The Andy Griffith Show, Don always knew how to stir up a giggle. He believed, you can't hope to be a real funny man unless you're a very thoughtful man. Deep and funny, a rare combo. Number seven brings us Shelley Berman, the king of introspective comedy. His bit, The Morning After the Night Before, where he talks about a hangover, is just timeless. Haven't we all been there? Phyllis Diller lands at number six, poking fun at her domestic life with lines like, I never made who's who, but I'm featured in what's that. Oh, Phyllis, you're a riot. Halfway through at number five, Jonathan Winters, the master of improv and wacky characters. His granny Frickert, absolutely legendary. Number four is the neurotic, the iconic Woody Allen. His take on life, I'm not afraid of death. I just don't want to be there when it happens. Classic Woody always making us laugh about our deepest fears. Coming in at number three, Lenny Bruce, edgy, raw, and always on the nose. He remarked, in the halls of Ivy, there's a statue of the Scholastic, a very thin man reading very thick books, making very wise remarks. He told it like it was. At number two, the unforgettable Bill Cosby, painting pictures of his childhood with a humorous twist that gave us all a little nostalgia. And topping our chart at number one, the king of deadpan, Bob Newhart. His sketch, The Driving Instructor, where he deals with a nervous student driver, is the epitome of comedy gold. There you have it, folks, our journey through the laugh tracks of the 50s and 60s. These legends shaped what comedy is today, and their punchlines still echo through halls of hilarity. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that like button if you had a good laugh. Catch you next time for more blasts from the past every Throwback Thursday here at Just In Time Top 10 Lists.